Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Hey there, everybody. How are you? Alex here. This is the Ramble, and it goes until midnight Eastern Daylight Time. Okay, all right. Uh, anyway, how are you? It's a little warm in here, but it's. It, I ha- turned off the air conditioner because it really isn't... Uh, it is. It hasn't been that uh, that hot. How how hot is it right now outside? Let me see. Has it gone up a little bit? Uh, it's seventy five degrees outside. Ooh. Well, maybe I maybe I should t- t- turn on the air conditioner then. Where are we? What? Where did my air conditioner go? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's all the way over there. <sighs> Let me see here. Now you'll hear it start, right? Okay. And hold on a second. I got to close my door. I. I left my door open, as you can see here, uh, because I thought maybe some cooler air would come in. But let me just, uh, very seldom do you see my whole body. But, uh, oh, you see I'm wearing shorts too. I always wear shorts at night. What the hell, it's comfortable. Anyway, soon enough it will be cool in here where I don't ever have to run the air conditioner again. All right, okay, anyway, where are we, okay. We're ready to go with the show, right? Right. Go with the flow, with the show, with the flow. Flow. Anyway, um, so I, uh, what did I do today? Well, I didn't take a shower. (laughs) And I didn't brush my teeth. When girlfriend isn't here and I'm not working. See, if I work out, I work out, I sweat. Then I come home and the nicest thing after working out is a shower, right? So then after I shower, I brush my teeth. Well, today I didn't work out. I was too busy watching two hours of the Apple uh, presentation of their new watch and their new phones. And uh, I determined that uh, I really somewhere got to sneak out of the Apple ecosystem. Uh, you know, I mean, th- their prices have just gone. This new, the new bigger uh, Apple phone, which is so big, that they may as well call it an iPad. It's six point what five inches, something like that. Uh, and you know, every year, every year, w- Apple once a year makes you have buyer's remorse. Um, the car company started doing this years ago. With every year they come out with a new model, there was just one difference. In those cases, they never really changed the models that much, except every three years. You know, maybe they'd add a new grill or they put new and something new on the thing that didn't have the year before. But basically, it was the same car and it didn't cost them anything to produce it more. And they just said, this is the new 1978 Plymouth, you know. But with Apple, every year, oh, this is the best, this is the best iPhone we've ever made. And you go, really? Well, what was that piece of shit you sold me last year? So you sit there watching this, and they're telling you, oh, well, we've got this, and it's got a new new chip in it. It's faster than the any other thing, and you can launch rockets with this deal. And, uh, oh, you know, it, wonderful. Just wonderful, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway. So I watched that today, and uh, the only thing I was interested in is I'm in the market this is stupid of me. I'm in the market for a new watch, okay? And I've had this one that I have for about two and a half years now, and I love the Apple Watch. It, it's just been, it's a nice addition to my life. Well, anyway, I was thinking of maybe going with a thing that cost me 10 bucks a month from the phone company where I don't need the iPhone to operate it. It will operate anywhere and pick up a, a cell signal anywhere. And uh, so you can, you know, you can, receive phone calls and all of that and this new one that they have is bigger it's not that the watch itself is bigger but they made the bezel smaller so that the face of the watch is bigger 
okay? It's higher definition. And now this is the best part about it. Uh, and, and I was listening to... Um, I was listening to Damien, he was talking about it, and he said, oh, well, it's got this thing with the new phone or with the new watch that if you fall, it automatically calls 911. Uh, if, you, if you haven't within a minute told it, no, don't worry, nothing's broken, you know. Uh, but that's not the thing that I thought was incredible. What's incredible is it can take an electrocardiogram. Now, you know when you go to your doctor and he says, I think we better give you an electro, echocardiogram or whatever, and uh, he uh, then um, hooks you up to all the wires and uh, not an echocardiogram, an electrocardiogram, uh, hooks you up to all these wires and then they check your heart to see if it has any irregularities. I, I don't know if you've ever had that happen to you, but it happens all the time with me because I've got a doctor who is also a cardiologist and uh, through this, he found that I had a mild stenosis, which is not dangerous in the least, and it hasn't gotten any worse in all the time that I've, uh, that I've been seeing him. But he has to do this electrocardiogram. This thing, you just touch the, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, what do you call it, the stem of the watch, right? And uh, uh, ask it to do an electrocardiogram, and it does the whole reading, everything. Okay, and then it gives it a readout that you can download or something that's a PDF and you can just give it to your doctor and he doesn't even have to do that. It's all done for him by your watch. So I figure, hey, you know, they at least they're putting some value in it for the money. Now, the watch normally for the watch that uh, that uh, is a cellular watch was a hundred and. $20, $125, well, it's up to 500 now. Now, I don't know if it's up to 500 because of the tariffs or it's up to 500 because Apple wants to get more money out of you, which is probably more the case. So um, I, I want it. So I'm, I got, you know, I got some cash stashed away and I'm going to go use it and buy this watch when it comes out uh, because that appealed to me. The phone, I just got the new Apple phone. I got the X, or the 10, or whatever they call it. And uh, I'm very happy with it. I love it. It's terrific. Uh, next year, after a year, I can get a new one if I want to, and if I want to keep paying the payments every month for the phone. Uh, but I don't know that I want one of these new ones. I'm happy with it, you know. Takes great video, takes great everything. So I, I'm, I, I'm, I, in spite of the fact they say, oh, yeah, it's got more power and it's able to do more of this and more of that. And, you know, I'm going, it, it plays games better. Now, the last thing I want to do on a little uh, thingy is, is play one of these, you know, games that, uh, that you should use on a console because then you got your big screen and you got the noise and everything. I don't know that I, that I want to buy it for games. I don't think I've ever really played any games on the iPhone. I have on the iPad but not on the iPhone. And in iPad next month, they come out with a, new, a newer iPad, and you can imagine all the bells and whistles that it'll have on it. Anyway, but then they have a cheaper version of the iPhone 10 that goes for about $749, and it, uh, <laughs> excuse me, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. A little sneeze there. It was, you know, it's, it's uh, who knows what, what they're going to have with that. With the watches, they have the they have the cheapest. Well, they have an uh, iPhone XS, they call it, that is the cheap phone, and that's like seven forty forty nine, I think. And it has most of what the ten has. It has the same processors and things like that, and uh, it's uh, you know it, it certainly it replaces all the other cheap ones, and it's smaller. It's like five point one inches is the size. Uh, the one that I have is 5'8", something like that, and the new one is 6'5", or 6'3". I don't, who cares? My phone is big enough. It's good enough. And God damn it, what, what, what? I'm big enough? I'm, what was it what the Al Franken used to say, is Stuart Smiley? I'm good enough, I'm, and I, damn it, I'm whatever. Anyway, forget it. I can't even remember the bit. Uh, listen, uh, girlfriend is not here. Uh, in town because she went to China and she's on a plane right now coming back here she went to China got there on Monday 
left on what was Thursday in China, Thursday morning. She spent about two and a half days there. And then she's back on the plane for another, by my measurement, it looks to be maybe 18 hours, something like that. Anyway, so, but, but she called me this morning before, when she first got up, which was really early in China. It was like four o'clock in China, in Hong Kong. And uh, I, uh, I, 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 I convinced her to let me record her, even though she said her makeup wasn't on and she just got out of the shower. But uh, here's, here's that conversation, live and direct originally, not any longer, uh, from, uh, from, uh, from uh, Hong Kong. She's saying I can record now but uh, I don't even have my my cap on, so I'm looking. <laughs> well, well, I have my I I have my chest on. She is in uh, she is in Hong Kong, and she has called me, and I figured out how to get record this with FaceTime. Because I can't sleep. Yeah. Uh, do you have a window there? Alex, it's four in the morning. Oh. It's pretty dark outside. It's dark outside. Let's let's yes. see how dark. Hold on. What oh, do I have to do? Oh, Turn oh, this around? Uh, yeah, because otherwise we're seeing your face now. I really don't want to see. How do I turn it around? So, uh. oh, there you go. Here okay. Go. Uh, there, here's, the, here's the luxurious room she's in. Show us around yep. the room. I will, but first I want to show you outside to show you what Hong Kong looks like right now. Yeah, it's Hong Kong at night, ladies and gentlemen. At four in the morning. At four in the morning. God, you'd think, so that's it, you'd think it was would be more lit up than that. Well, it's not time. Yeah, huh? Here's another view. Here's another view. Another view? There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And here's my room. Here, here's her room. There's her beds. See, that's the one I was going to sleep in over there. Yeah. Yeah. And here's the breakfast that they just served me because it's off hours, so I got coffee and croissants. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that's it. Uh, do you have Hong Kong television? What are you watching on television? It's a uh, it's a movie called Taken. Yeah, and it's got Chinese subtitles. Yeah, but it's an it's an American movie. I have no yeah. idea what it is. Yeah, but do, do the Chinese subtitles bother you? No. No. Oh, okay. First of all, all right. it's just background noise for me. Yeah. That's the TV series Taken, I believe. Oh, I have no. I just have no idea. Yeah. Let me. Let me. Let me turn, Those, turn this around. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, have you enjoyed your? <laughs> yeah, sure. Show us your show us your tits. Go ahead. I'll show you my my chest. Yeah. Um, so have you enjoyed your time in Hong Kong? I'm exhausted. I mean, my my hours were all turned around. I had a big dinner last night, and I opted not to go because. It would have been all night, and yeah. I figured I had to get up at 5, so I got up at 3. It's now 4.30, so my wake-up call is like in an hour. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So. so I'm already packed. I leave for the airport about quarter to 6. Quarter to 6? Yeah. Uh, well, my flight's at 9. Yeah. you got to realize uh, we're recording this at uh, 4.33 in the afternoon, so it's 4.33 in Hong Kong. Yeah, it's all four thirty three Thursday morning. Yeah. Yeah. It's and Wednesday. And I get home. Yeah. And I get home Thursday afternoon. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. It's so weird. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm sure you will have a sufficient jet lag. Can't we just see your oh. face for a second? There <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I just took a shower. I'm a mess. Yeah. Okay, but you there look radiant. You look radiant. I look tired. And this is live and direct from Hong Kong. From Hong Kong, Thursday morning. Yes. Okay. I'm just waiting for my car to take me to the airport. But now I've got like a couple of hours because I woke up so early. I see. Okay. Oh, that's good. So, yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, I'll, I miss, I've missed you. Because I suddenly, I, I, I suddenly realize I have no friends, so, you know. <laughs> Tell the girls to leave. Huh? Tell the girls to leave and change the sheets. You, you tell the girls to leave. I just changed where my picture is here. So, you know. <laughs> yeah. uh, 
I miss you. Yeah. Oh, I miss you too. I just suddenly realized I have no friends at all, so I had nobody to call. Yeah, Shecky. Yeah, but Shecky, um, uh, I you know, to, uh, during the weekday to go out there, except on Monday is a bad day for me. You know. Oh, oh! By the way, speaking of friends, Albert and Linda posted a picture on Facebook of the two of them. Mm -hmm. It is so beautiful. Go check it out. It's just so loving. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, um, it's beautiful. We've become very close to them. Even more. I'm delighted. I've even become closer to him since we haven't worked together. You know. Well, I love the two of them. I just can't wait till they come up and visit again. But check out the picture on Facebook. Because it's such a loving picture of the two of them. Uh, it's well, just terrific. We'll, we'll have to go. Everybody go check it if you're watching us Go right check now. Albert's picture. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway. So I'm, I'm taking off tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And so I have the, and the, so I'll have three days to recoup. Oh, okay. Friday, Saturday. I, I did something while you were gone, and I hope you don't mind. Uh-oh. Here it goes. I, I watched the deuce. How is it? That wasn't that great. Really? Yeah, it was okay. Yeah. Did you watch the whole series? Uh, no, 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 no. It's a, it, 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 they run one episode at a time. It's HBO. Oh, will you, will you watch it with me? Yeah, sure. I'll watch it again with you. Okay. It's, it's, it's not and, that. It, and, I, and I didn't watch, uh, uh, see, here are all the things I didn't watch. I didn't watch uh, uh, Better Call Saul. So oh, I'll save, thank you. I'll save that for okay. when you come back. Okay. And uh, there was nothing else much running this week, so it didn't didn't matter. Yeah. I watched America's Got Talent last oh, night. Oh, do me a favor, save the piece with the magician. Was when the magician wasn't on last night. Oh, I thought you said he was. He was on the week before and won. Oh, 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 oh. So, was there any good things to show me? I don't need to see the nah, bad stuff. Nah, it was actually a okay. very, actually it was a very bad group of people. The whole show. You okay, know. I'll wait till the, now. Next week is the finals. Next week is the final. Do you believe, folks, that we're actually following that goddamn thing? You know, yeah. oh, we've watched. By the way, Boone, what Boone and family? Boone and family yeah. moved to Hong Kong. They moved to Hong Kong. Yeah, they're living here now. Well, they were living in Singapore for a while. No, no, she, they're from Singapore. They were living in Beijing. They were living in Beijing. Oh, okay, all right. So he's moved to Hong Kong. Oh. Right, and the kids are in a Singapore well, this school. This is all personal stuff that the people who yeah. listen but it, to. But what made me think about Boone, it? Boone was, her, Boone was her original boss. Original of, boss. But remember years back when we all used to watch America's Idol? Remember, American that's Idol. Yeah, about, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, and we were betting that's on it. We had, a bet, it. we had a bet thing going. Yeah. Didn't we, you won yeah. here? Yeah. yeah. Did I win it I or did I he won. win? You I think won? I won. You won? Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, yeah. But Boone is her boss. Very nice guy. He's the guy that helped great. put us up. Everybody in Everybody in Cynic is great. I saw Brian. Yes, all he's well. Don't, let's not talk about this because the audience okay, doesn't okay, know who okay, we're okay, talking okay. about. Did I did did I, what did I miss with Trump? Anything going on there? Um, well, you missed him at the at Shanksville. Uh, going to the uh, where you know nine eleven the nine eleven memorial and getting off the plane oh. uh, getting off the plane and the shot of him going yeah oh I saw that <laughs> I saw that and and he was all talking about himself again yeah yeah and and he also talked about uh, the he did a thing with a uh, with the, about the you know about the hurricanes and then he had a guy with a map and I it was kind of like saying and now here's Bob with the weather. Uh, and uh, then he said, and I love this one, you know, uh, uh, Puerto Rico worked out really well. Oh, yeah, really well. <laughs> if, if, well, if he said Puerto they Ricans. didn't he said they didn't have electricity beforehand. And I yelled out at the screen. Yeah, but they had three thousand people who aren't here now. Right. You know? <laughs> That's like saying 9-11 didn't work. It worked out well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, uh, He's Phil, such an idiot. Phil last night was saying, "Well, those people would have died anyway." You know, Jesus. <laughs> he is not liked in Hong Kong. Let me tell you who, that. Who, Phil? Trump. Oh, Trump. Oh my God. They don't like him in Hong Kong. No, I mean everybody talks about him as that crazy president that you have. Oh, now we're, you're getting blamed for it. <laughs> The crazy president that we that we have now. Well, of course, and you know, Phil hears this, he'll come on and say, "Yeah, but that's China. They hate they hate Obama because." Of, by the way, the Obama. new uh, 
the new uh, the new Apple Watch came out today. Yeah. Which is a must get for me, but it's five hundred bucks. Jesus, and, and Alex. You, you know why I think it's five hundred bucks? Do you know what it's got in it? This is amazing. It you can, can sell your other. No, they you, take it on you, an exchange. You can take it and do an electrocardiogram on yourself with the watch. And then t- and then do a PDF on it and give it to your doctor. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So I I I, 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 I have a bunch of cash sitting around here. I'm going to go get one. But uh, $500. And I started to figure out why. It has a bigger face. Has a better resolution. It's a whole bunch of things. But why 500 as opposed to what 420? I think for the comparable before. And I'm thinking it's it's the uh, it's it's the the uh, tariffs. Electric cardigan. Yeah, no, it's the yeah. tariffs. It's the tariffs that rose the price on them. Oh, we haven't seen anything yet. That's all you see in the newspapers are about the tariffs too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. China's going to get back real big. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, let's. Um, yes. What? How about that iPad thing? What? What's oh, oh, the they, oh, the the Mac Mini. No, there's no announcement yeah. of it. They're not making that announcement till next month. So we have to buy yours now, I guess. Okay. Yeah. We'll do it uh, when I get back. It, it doesn't matter. We'll we'll get uh, the one you're going to get is going to serve serve you very okay. nicely. You know, anything you buy today, Apple's going to put out of commission next year. Like the it new- doesn't matter, Alex. That's the way cars are get it oh, yeah. and so you can't use it anymore yeah. then you get a new one i mean you don't the, have to the get new, one the, every year the new apple phone is really nice you know but what you know i've got one take me on vacation instead well you know we, we can get a new one every year if we just want to keep paying the cost of the phone every month you we know? don't want to do that well no we can <laughs> we can do it you know I, i'm not i'm not against it uh, it's quarter to five. My wake up calls in forty five minutes, but I told them not to wake me up because I'm up. Yeah, your hands holding the phone, and we can see your hand there. There we, oh. go. There we go. I just, I just, I'm a, f- a, f- a fidgety about these things. Well, anyway, I will let you go, dear. Okay. Why don't I'll you, see why you, this you stick? Afternoon. Why don't you stick around for a few seconds after we end this, so I can just say a few things to you. Okay. M- mushy stuff, you know. Uh, Bye, everyone. Yeah, say goodbye to, this is... Bye, America. This is Marjorie, and she's in China. And it's Thursday. In China, as uh, as Trump Trump says. (laughs) I like what he said. What was the word that he messed up the other day? Oh, um, oh, I can't remember now, but... It It was uh, a big word that he couldn't pronounce. Started with an A. I'm trying to remember the word now. Anonymous? Accommodate. 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 Yeah, something like that. (laughs) <laughs> anyway, dear, have a, a good trip home, and I'll see you back here. Okay, baby. I made the bed again today. Well, I didn't make it because I never, I never slept. I slept on the over you the Never covers. got out of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, All love right. you, dear. Travel love good. You. Uh, travel safe. Bye. I'm holding on. Anyway, that was our little uh, our little get together with my with my wife, who is in China, and uh, uh, we thought you might enjoy that. I enjoyed it. Uh, we talked about a lot of stuff I talked about already. I forgot that I had talked to her about that stuff. Uh, anyway, uh, let me see here. Got to get things together here for the uh, for the uh, uh, um, Skype. Okay, and I will turn it on. So in case anybody wants to call, they can talk to me. Um, what? Oh, what was that noise? Oh, there we go. Another one of those notices about, hey, why don't you uh, t- uh, switch over to the new uh, the new uh, Skype? And uh, I, I go, uh, fuck, fuck you, you know? I don't uh, need to do that. Anyway, um, so uh, that was her in China, and uh, they hate Trump over there. Uh, and uh, we hate him over here. So between us, uh, China and the United States have something in common. Uh, <laughs> you know, um, it's interesting, you know. It's very interesting to go somewhere else and hear what they think, all right? Anyway, our lines are open. I've cleared all the stuff I hear. And I've done all the work I've got to do, so now I'm just waiting for people to uh, to call me. And uh, look who's calling, ladies and gentlemen, the lovely and attractive Scott, Scott. Spodaker, ladies and gentlemen. There he is uh, with his... Uh, uh, his uh, he looks like... Uh, 
You look like the picture on the front of the cigar box. The word is anonymous. 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 Yeah, he he was having trouble with anonymous. anonymous. Yeah. Anonymous. Uh, A hippopotamus. Hippopotamus. (laughs) Yeah. Hippopotamus. Did you hear that, uh, by the way, uh, uh, Phil, the other day when the president tried to say the word anonymous? Uh, No, but, uh, you know, presidents and smart people tend to mess up words. Uh, You know, it's it's gone that way throughout time. Speaking of smart persons, do you know that a hurricane (laughs) is tremendously big? And wet. Wet. Very wet. <laughs> very, very wet. I didn't know Most people didn't know that. Most people say, I didn't know that, but I did. Yeah. How come everybody sounds like Bill Murray when they're trying to do the president? Because I think the president sounds like Bill Murray. <laughs> like Bill Murray. Hey, you know, I was looking at that double fist pump picture. Yeah. He was he was just stretching. He got off a long flight. Oh, in, uh, yeah, you know, no, Washington no, no, to no, Shanksville. No, it was... Nah, he was he was stretching. You know, he was tired. When are you, you going know? to start realizing this guy is a dunce? Okay, no, because the guy yawned. He's a dunce. <laughs> he's a douchebag, and a lot of other things that start with D. Yeah. Anonymous. Huh? Yeah. A, a hippopotamus. <laughs> Written by a guy named Hippopotamus. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so. Uh, that was nice that you were able to talk to Marjorie. It looked uh, good. That Hong was amazing. Yeah, yeah, actually, that was done using FaceTime. That's why I was uh, on the other uh, computer, because you can't yeah. use FaceTime on Windows. So, and she she hadn't set her Skype up, so we did uh, it on FaceTime. FaceTime did. Hey, I got a question. Yeah. Why are you interested in buying a phone and a watch and all of these things when you say that you never you never nobody ever calls you? <laughs> so, what do you need it for? I want it. Well, you could call me. <laughs> well, I did. And then I will feel that I that got I'm your money's, my money's worth. worth. <laughs> no, this new thing yeah. has a it has a louder speaker in it, which is good because then you can hear it without the earphones. Uh, it, uh, yeah, a electrocardiogram. You could use that. Oh, absolutely. You know, but you know, my blood pressure cuff thing uh, it has a uh, an adapter for an electrocardiogram. So it's a little pad. You put your fingers on it, and it downloads to the uh, blood pressure cuff machine. Uh, it's, it's called an Omron. Uh, how well, does the electrocardiogram pick up a signal? Is it, it got you, it? You touch the. Uh, uh, you start, it, it's a pad. Well, in this case, you touch the stem of the watch. Yeah. And then uh-huh. it does the whole thing. And you know, I mean, I go into the doctor's office, and he sticks all these things on me. Yeah, and exactly. Then, they, like then eight, they do that, and things, then they yeah. got to rip them all off. Here, you can do it at home, get a PDF together uh, of it. It'll give a PDF readout, and you just give it to your doctor. I asked the cardiac nurse uh, that uh, put on the class after I had my first stent uh, about this electrocardiogram thing uh, for the Omeron machine, and she says, don't waste your money. (laughs) Well, in this case, they got FDA approval on this thing. Uh, I'm sure Omeron has FDA approval. And they had a guy there. They had a guy there. From the the president of the American Heart Association, who endorsed it. And how much was he paid? Well, yeah, well <laughs> the fact of the matter Even is. Even Jeff, uh, not Jeff. Scott. 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 Yeah. Scott that's yeah. Scott. That's not Scott. Jeff. Okay. Je- well, Jeff's the know. older guy. Yeah. Jeff uh, now, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, uh, yeah, he's he's got the same opinion of it as I do, which is. Yeah. Uh, right. You know, uh, get that's a time. That, that, no, no, no. But that was the Omron you were talking about. The, right. This thing is a different deal altogether. Ah, come on. How much different can it be? Well, apparently the American Heart Association approves of it and it got FDA approval. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. You'll In be, the Trump Don't worry. You'll be out yeah. buying one tomorrow. <laughs> now, you know, I have a watch I bought in 1996. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, I wear it every day for every kind of function, mm-hmm. and it doesn't need a battery. Uh, I'll tell you, know, you though. You I'll wear t- it and it winds. I'll tell you something. I love the Apple Watch. I mean, I've had one for about two and a half years now. 
So you know, I and and I'm 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 interested in the new one because I like the idea that the face watch face is bigger. It's does it, well. It isn't larger because the bezel is the same, uh, but they just made it bigger on the uh, and made the bezel smaller and uh, uh, it's I, higher definition. You know, it's not high. I bought high, one, Brian. I bought one for uh, for Faye a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. and she's never worn it. Uh, so she said to me the other day, and she says, why don't you take it? So I can't get, I can't get the band on. I got to buy another band and, is it the uh, smaller I'm, I'm going to try it. Is it the smaller one or the larger one? It's the smaller one. Yeah. I got Marjorie, the smaller one, because it, it, the larger one doesn't look good on her because she has very thin arms. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, she loves it. She just All loves right. it, you know. Well, I'm I'm going to try hers. You know, she she doesn't use it. I said, you know, uh, I so I put it on the charger last night, and I'm gonna the Apple store is around the corner from my apartment, so I'm I'm going to go over there and have them set it up because every time I've tried it, I failed. Well, the thing is, you when know. I uh, that I that I did uh, that I decided the reason to get this was that I've often said that well, you know, I I really always carry my iPhone with me, so what do I need? the watch to do it you have to pay 10 bucks more a month to the to, to the phone company to at&t for the service on the watch yeah can you read your mail on the watch he, he, uh, probably it's a new one yeah but anyway yeah. the point i'm making is yeah. is that i said you know i'm always going out with my iphone anyway so uh, you know why not you know, I read, and then I, then the I went news, to the then I, went, I watched TV. And then I went down uh, to the I went down to work out. And suddenly realized I had left my iPhone home. Yeah. So but, and I said, gee, I wish I had that watch now. Well, uh, you know, when I go to uh, I've been working out lately and now I'm going to run. I need to get one of those things that holds the iPhone on your arm. So you don't walk away from it while it's still on the uh, treadmill or the you, elliptical you trainer realize, and the you earphones are in your You don't ear. have to buy one of those because at the rate you're going to run, forget it. You know, <laughs> well, I mean, it's just gonna, that, it's not going to fall off. You're not going to lose it. It's fallen off <laughs> already. I, you know, I, I, I put it in my pocket. I get on the life cycle and pedal away. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I like I watch TV, you know, uh, on on the phone. I have Sling, and I have a number of other uh, Prime. Uh, so you do that, too. Oh, you, look, you don't have to buy the I, the watch. You can have the one you've got. They, they have the watch without the cellular. Right. It works yeah. in conjunction with the phone. You know, but if I'm going to buy another one, I may as well get it with the cellular. Pay it's the, just another $10. Everything is another $10 yeah, yeah, yeah. or another yeah, oh, 99 yeah. Oh, yeah. cents. Yeah, yeah. I am so tired of being ninety nine hey, cents hey, to death. Yeah, everything is like you know. Oh, hey, it's only nine ninety nine a month for this. On this, we can agree. Oh, well, it, right. No, what it is is that what's happening is all the things you used to get for free, like on TV, now cost yeah. you five dollars a month. Like if you want, uh, if you want CBS programming without the commercials, it's going to cost yeah. you eight dollars a month. Yeah, but it's free. I, I it's free without Les Moonves. So it's less <laughs> Moonves free. Yeah. By the way, his, uh, hey, you, man. Well, yeah. you know, 180 million dollars. Well, talking about me too. Well, wait a minute. Hold, wait a second. Hold on a second. Hold on, hold, on, hold on a second. I have a story to tell about Les Moonves. Okay. This is interesting. The, the 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 board of directors was against getting rid of him. They said this thing happened 20 years ago. You know, these things were a long time ago. He's a different guy now. Uh, he's made us a lot of money. Why should we get rid of him? And they all agreed they would stick by him. And then they got a little piece of information that some woman was going to come, for, one of the women who had accused him anonymously of groping her or whatever, said she was going to come forward with tapes. Okay? So okay. Moonves offered her a job at CBS. And as soon as they heard that, they went, there's the door. Yeah. The tapes. <laughs> yeah. Sex tapes? No, uh, just, uh, of him just being improper. You oh, know. okay. But okay. He, he was willing to give her a job at CBS, high-paying high job at CBS to keep her mouth quiet. And th they said, you know, that happened a couple of weeks ago. Forget it. <laughs> He's out of here. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, the, uh, the Trump... Uh, the Playboy uh, Bunny, they were doing the same thing, uh, you know, giving her a job basically to uh, to stay silent. 
except they didn't pay her a full deal, and probably if they did, she wouldn't have said anything. But, uh, yeah, on the Me Too front, today, in the news, McDonald's. Norm Mc they're having a... Uh, the McDonald's is having a protest all across the nation. Stores all across the nation are going to be protested because it, they seem that the employees are being uh, sexually harassed. And now I, I figure they're being sexually by by you know people in management, but I figure it's Ronald McDonald. Well, I was that, I was thinking that maybe it was because uh, they were they weren't offering a breakfast taco. <laughs> well, and, maybe, and, but uh, uh, from San Francisco to New York, uh, there's going to be McDonald's that are going to be uh, uh, protested against and so forth because of Me Too and sexual harassment in the workplace. Okay. So I think Ronald McDonald is a pedophile. Listen, if you work for McDonald's, that's just harassment in the workplace, period. Yeah, you know, how Oh, anybody that works for McDonald's is, is is seriously overweight, has pimples all over their face, and uh, usually, you know, who hey, would want hey, to hey, harass knock, them knock sexually? It off. I had a girlfriend who, who yeah. at one point said that she was 18, but yeah. suspiciously she was working at McDonald's, Ooh. and she was good looking. Mm -hmm. So, you know, turned out she and was 17. But, oh, she, but did you told me, uh, did she, you verify? She told me two days before her birthday. So yeah, yeah. Um, I called my lawyer, and he said, "Hey, once she's eighteen, that's it." You know. Yeah. No, I think if if it happens when they're uh, underage, it's still uh, it, well. This wasn't like you know. Still come back and get you, Alex. Oh, after all these what? years. Yeah. Me oh, too. Well, to begin with, to begin with, she lied to me. She told me that she was. Doesn't matter. You know, matter. I asked doesn't her how old she was. Matter. Yeah. Doesn't I, matter. You know, Tracy but then, Lord, but, they but, asked her how old she was. But then was when too. she said she was working at McDonald's, I went, "This is a little suspicious." <laughs> well, one thing I'm guessing she never made much of a name for herself, even up to now in 2018. And secondly, because you have, or at least have up until your days at Sirius were over, Alex, um, uh, there there's a key differential there. You have perceived success. She has none, so well, she wants well, to get minute, back. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Later, she she hasn't. Oh, you, you don't know. She has. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She uh, she was doing a lot of stuff in Hollywood for a long time. She was uh, the girlfriend of Richard Bamer, the actor, uh, and uh, so she, she did went better. On, huh? She did better than you. Yeah, so she, she left you alone. No, she <laughs> no. She was also working uh, the TV business and so on and so forth. She 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 had a fairly successful life. I was very happy for her. Very bright, very bright girl. So yeah. Okay. So you see. No, no matter what you did to her. No matter what, no matter how I right. I warped her, yeah. Well, you know. I stand corrected. Yeah, I hated I hated to break her little teenage heart, you know. But when I found yeah. out, was she when I found out that she'd been lying to me, yeah. I, even though she was now eighteen, turned eighteen, uh, I dumped her because I felt that was that was, uh, uh, you know, number one, it could have gotten me into a lot of trouble. Although, yeah. Yeah. you know, we're on the cusp of no trouble there. Well, did you uh, go and, to the and, high school dance? <laughs> the prom? Did you take her to the prom? Well, I have one girlfriend who I went with for years who I took to her prom. Yeah. Now, let me explain this so you understand that this was before I started going with her. But yeah. she was a fan of the show, and her mother used to bring her down to the show. And then she told me that she was going to go to her prom with this guy, but he just, his parents just moved and left town, and now she has nobody to go to her prom with. So she tells me this on the air, all right? So I'm looking, you know, anything for a little publicity deal, something people can follow on the radio, right? So I say, I'll take you to your prom. So we did a whole thing where we rented a limo for us and, uh, we we went to the uh, into to a very nice. We, I think we wasn't the Mark Hopkins, but it was another major restaurant in San Francisco, and we had dinner, and then we went down to the Palace Hotel where there was the the prom, and I'm there as her date, and uh, uh, at one point uh, I went to the bathroom and I'm taking a leak, and after I'm through, uh, there are a couple of kids there, and the guys there, of course, there's the men's room, and and they say, gee, he doesn't look like he's a senior. 
<laughs> yeah, in more ways than one. And I look, I look back at them and said, "No shit, kid." You know. Uh, but uh, uh, no, so I took her to her prom, and then one thing led to another. About a year later, something like that. I mean, she was well into being nineteen at that point. We uh, uh, old. She's too old. She would come over and see me at my place every now and then. And how old were you at the time? Uh, I was uh, in my 40s. Uh, yeah, she was 25 years younger than me. Concerning adults, whatever. Yeah, but yeah. So, yeah. So it's a piece I, of information that's uh, germane to the story here. I, I went, so I went to, you know, I went to the, uh, uh, so I, I, she came over one night and uh, she just needed uh, some place to stay that she had, she had gone out to the, to the bay or out to the, actually out to the cliff house and walked into the water and was all wet and everything. And Ooh, so I... But the t-shirt too? <laughs> this sounds like teenage drama Stop bullshit. Stop being... Oh, yeah. Anyway. And the novelty wore off, right? So, so yeah, one thing led to another and uh, I said, uh, she kind of got a little romantic with me and I said, well, I really don't know because uh, I said, I, I really don't like the idea of having sex with a virgin. And she's, oh, I'm no virgin. And I jumped her. Uh, you know. Well, whatever, and, well, whatever make you think she I'm, was a I'm sorry that I did that because uh, it, permission? It, it was then a, an 11-year on and off again romance that wow. was just hellish. You, 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 uh, did you know her at all? No. Oh, I won't say her name right now because so <laughs> uh, her name is so unusual that a lot of people know who I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, right. Uh, I call her Miss X is the way we deal with it. Uh, I knew Red, uh, yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but I, didn't, I didn't know. Yeah, but this was, you know, this went on for about 11 years. And we broke up on and off again for 11 yeah. different times in that 11 years. Sounds like the textbook case of an unstable relationship. Oh, uh, absolutely. But somehow. But I'm sure the sex was great because on account it, of how dysfunctional the both of you were at the it's time. It's breakup it, sex. It wasn't the sex that was great. Great sex was red. Uh, yeah. uh, it wasn't that the sex was great, although it wasn't bad, but the, the, the romance was very heavy. It was up to a 10, you know? I mean. Yeah. Oh, you like a little foreplay with your, before your uh, tee off, huh? Yeah, yeah. I like, uh, it, it, that one, you know, was a, a love thing. If I, if I had, uh, if I had married some, uh, the best the woman that I had the best sex with, it would have been a lousy marriage. You know. Yeah, you can't have it all. Well, sometimes the sex sometimes gets very. Or as I like to say, I'm like a bisexual. You cannot have it both ways. Well, what I was going to say is that sex sometimes is much better uh, when the two of you don't have any emotional investment in it, and just a sexual investment in it, and then you just you know. That's why I agree that uh, prostitution should be legalized on the, and that's a compelling reason as to why you just outlined. Yeah, although uh, I I couldn't go to a prostitute. I'm just not. You know, the few. Well, times, there are stages in your life in which you could have. The, no, the it few, maybe did. The few know, times that I have, I did it once to see what it was like and didn't like it. And well, then you I went did, to the, I, your friend's ranch and you turned it down. I went. I went. I had, I went to Bunny the Ranch. Moonlight Bunny Ranch over and over again and never. You know, he said, "Any woman you want, you know, half price." Not that he was being cheap. But that they get half the price, he says. I can't cheat them out of it. I, but, I buy my books the same way, you know yeah. that half price books. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I mean, I I just never prostitution never, you know, never appealed to me because I like the conquest and I like the romance. I like I'm a sucker that way, you know. And I hope don't she, we all? Yeah. So in yeah. one way or another, what have you got? Like what have you been in women? What, like what are you doing with the towel? Are you sweating or something? Yeah, I just I got out of the shower not too long ago, and uh, it's still kind of humid out. Really, mm -hmm. it, it's a little it it's a little humid today in here, uh, but yeah. for the most part, the weather has just been it's almost been cold. My feet were freezing earlier today. I had to put my socks oh. on. Oh. You know. But anyway, so that was you know that that was my uh, my little romance that I had uh, that uh, you know uh, 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 the, the other one was young too, but I I uh, but. But, Do you know what makes the uh, romance good? Twenty-five years younger. No, I, no, <laughs> yeah. I don't think so. 
I don't think it, so. The skin is so smooth and tight. Well, the woman and, that you mentioned, Red, uh, yeah. who uh, she was pretty much close to my age. Yeah. And that was the best I ever had, you know. But because she, she was kinky to begin with, she was really kinky. But more than that, she was, um, uh, you know, she had been around and she was experienced. And you weren't yeah. teaching her things, you know. Uh, you know, some you know, of these they, uh, twenty year you olds, you don't have to teach them anything. It's just yeah. that they're, you know, no wrinkles. Every, you know, it, it's it, it's stimulating for a while. You know, you have I, to talk it's, to them. it's when they say to you, "That's the biggest dick I've ever seen," and then you say, "Well, how many have you seen?" And they go, "Well, one other." <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, you, you're not. It's not. Uh, it's not uh, uh, consoling. Okay. Yeah. You know, you just, uh, experience is important. You know, it's funny. I've, I've been looking at, uh, been looking at a lot of these photographs that uh, this woman took, who I inherited her photographs. Yeah. And um, uh, it's it, it could I could almost instead of putting out a book of her pictures, put out a book of pictures of me taking pictures of people, yeah. because I'm in almost every one of these photographs with my camera. Well, Shooting you know, that's video. not a bad idea. If you put out a book of Alex Bennett in yeah. the midnight blue years as photographed by Annie Rhinestone or what, uh, you know, so that's one way that that's you can take those and, and create something yeah. that benefits both of you. I've got to get the rest of them. I know there's a whole bunch more of the midnight blue yeah. stuff. We just did. They grabbed a bunch of boxes and then sent them out to be scanned and only one of the boxes had these pictures, but uh, uh, pretty good, you know. I mean, uh, uh, but if I did it in that in that context, it might, it, yeah, it might uh, be an interesting thing. Yeah. You know, I looked on uh, on the uh, YouTube and I saw it because I couldn't see it last night, and I saw the picture of Susan. Susan looked young there, and uh, she actually got prettier as she got older. You know uh, that? Yes, she did. And then yeah. she got. Uh, yeah, well, you told me she oh, got heavy, but. She got quite heavy. Yeah. 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 Oh, uh, when I knew her, she was uh, no, phenomenal. No, she was she was phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, and, I mean, she was just a beautiful looking woman. Uh, yeah. You know, but, uh, you know, and then there were a few other problems she had, too. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Substance sure. abuse and things like yeah. that. But, you know. It they do. really took its toll, you know. I mean, yeah. it, 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 and it cost me a lot of money to take care of her during those days. It's great, yeah, yeah. I, Good I, you had I, it. Well, I figured. No, I figured I spent close to three hundred thousand dollars trying to get her clean, you know. But she managed to do it on her own finally. So. Yeah, if I had fifty grand of that money, I could be debt free and have all my issues resolved. Well, yes, I she, know. She has. She has not a modicum of my sympathy whatsoever. Yeah, well, I would have that three hundred thousand dollars too, although I probably would have spent it on coke. So. Yeah, on a watch. <laughs> so. Yeah, on a, yeah. On a, on a early lot. Apple products. <laughs> Whether yeah. she's alive or dead now, it's of no difference to me. People you know, like Brian, her, they get what they deserve. You know, I I've had. Uh, my money issues uh, over the years, it's like feast or famine. And you know what? Uh, it all works out. Uh, no matter what kind of stress you think you have right now, uh, you, you'll, you'll put it behind you. It's a matter of just having a plan and, and, and chipping, chipping away at it a little at a time. And, and it'll go away. Yeah. You know? Hopefully that will be the case. But you got to have a plan. Yeah. Good plan. I never had, I, you know, I, I wish I had saved more money back then. I oh, just, don't we all? <laughs> between Uncle Sam, agents, lawyers, everything else, you know, um, by the time I was through, I, I, I did not, not have the amount of money I should have had. You know, there's a thing called uh, Myers Law, which says your expenses will rise to meet and exceed your income. So it doesn't matter how much you make, your expenses will always rise to the to the occasion. Uh, if you're being well, you know what you say. What you what you do say to yourself is, if I ever make a lot of money, I'm still going to live like I'm living today because I'm happy right now and I can live this way. Uh, it doesn't happen. 
you know, it just it's the happen. saving part that uh, that I always forget. It's you know, like I'm I, good at the spending part. I mean, uh, you know, <laughs> hey, I'm, I've got a car. What do I need with another one? Next thing I know, yeah. I'm driving top of the line Acura. You know, so uh, uh, you just I've had I've had every kind of car known to man. All you know, from Jaguars to Lincolns, and I have a Toyota FJ Cruiser now. It's paid for. It's seven years old. I got 140,000 miles. I love that car. I'm never selling it, and in, unless it dies. And if it dies, I might even get it fixed. Yeah. Uh, you know, and it's so nice not to have a car payment. <laughs> you know, yeah. Just, yeah, yeah. Well, I I, I can see that one. Yeah. yeah, bubble. Uh, your friend Larry Brown saw it the other night, and he says, "Oh, that's a classic." <laughs> I, I, I said, "He says that's going to be worth a lot of money." Yeah. I said, "Not when I get through with it." <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, so you know, so anyway, I've been I've been sitting here kind of. I feel, feel, this morning felt very lonely, and suddenly said, "I have no friends." You know, I mean, I don't have a lot myself either. Well, I mean, you, you know, guys, hey, we you, talk to you for an hour and a half every night. I spend more time One with you than week. I do with friends, you know, and, and like I, I have a good friend in Albert, but he's living in Florida. And and right. I have a good friend in Shecky, but he's all the way out in Queens, you know, and uh, and so it's like it, 10 miles. Well, yeah, but, you know, it, it's a long way in New York City. You, you got, know, you want to Skype with these people. You ever hear of that? <laughs> it's no, almost like being there. Here's what I did. I went down to um uh I went down to um uh, I have to go down to 90 take a cab to 96th Street and 2nd Avenue. Then I get the 2nd Avenue subway which takes me down to 67th Street uh and then I get on the train that then goes uptown again and over into Queens. That whole trip takes at least an hour. Now, to I go never see took Shecky, the train to Queens. To, to have lunch for three hours and then turn around and go back and do the same thing all over again. I never took the train to Queens. I, I, I used to go to Brooklyn all the time, but I used to go to Grand Central Station and then take the train, uh, what, the IRT? Yeah, but you to realize, the I'm, I'm up in buttfuck New York City. I'm up in Harlem. Harlem yeah. is not easily accessible to anything. You can't go down to the Grand Central? Sure, but it would take me longer than taking a cab down to 2nd Avenue, taking the 2nd Avenue subway downtown to 67th Street, and then getting on a train going in the other direction to Queens. Aye. <laughs> All right. But that's what I'm saying. You know, it's, it's not the easiest thing to go out and see Shecky. It used to be, when I was living uh, in, uh, on, uh, uh, what do you call it, on Houston Street, I would yeah. just get on the 2nd Avenue, the... Um, what was it, the subway, uh, about a block from me, and I, the F train, I would get on it, and I would just take it all the way to Shecky's. What that do they call it. when you live south of Houston Street? Uh, is that Soho? You're south of Houston, that's what Soho yeah. means. Soho, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. I knew that, and I'm right. from Texas. Well, I, I, I didn't remember. I haven't lived in New York since I was 17. I got to go see my neurologist on Friday. Yeah. He said, come back and see me in two months. And that my feet are killing me right now. I mean, toes are aching. Yeah. You know, who knows? Oh, uh, were you using the tennis, the uh, the ball? Yeah, the I'm golf using ball? that. Yeah, that helps a little bit, but it's not helping the the uh, the numbness that thing. So I don't know what he's going to do. I hope he gives me a drug. You know, well, I you know, give me a drug or a shot or something. Even well, if I'm passing out here on the air, I don't care. Give me a fucking drug. How how can that help you if you if you're standing on your balls? That's gotta hurt. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, in case they, people could don't they also know. give you like a shot of the hydrocortisone or some shit? Uh, no, because it's not. That's not the situation. It's a nerve that's yeah. causing this. My yeah. neck has been killing me for a long time, and I'm I'm going to stop the chiropractic stuff. Uh, what what's happening well, is, bravo. is I don't want to get surgery. Bravo. Bravo, well, I, you finally you know, are listening to me. Well, I think it's beyond what a chiropractor can do. I think it's, uh, I think a chiropractor may be making it worse. Well, I, I don't know. It, it's uh, just, I, I don't have much of a range of motion. Chiropractors do have their purpose. I'm yeah. living proof of that. Uh, my, they do alleviate migraines. My mother and I both suffer from them. 
and uh, just some other issues that uh, I won't get into that have well, yeah. let me, let me benefited just, me tremendously let me just, in uh, my youth. Let me just proffer this idea, though, uh, Brian. Is not a migraine, can it not be relieved by certain calming situations? Low job. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, now I get a big headache. I don't even know if I want to. Maybe migraine, like a light migraine, maybe. Uh, oh, migraine lights are always 1,200 fun. milligrams of acetaminophen and uh, a strong-ass, like, Italian roast or Colombian type of uh, cup of coffee will take care of it. Oh, okay, oh. good. Yeah. Along with some I, quiet time. I'm thinking about looking into the stem cell uh, injections to see if that can help me. You know, uh, I, you want you them know, to kill, I, they want, you hmm? want them to kill some babies for you, huh? Uh, I don't know where they get the stem cells from, and I don't care where they oh, come from. If they, if don't, if, they, don't get if, the, they don't get them from yaks, okay? Yeah, well, I don't really care. If they, if they get rid of this pain and uh, increase my range of motion, uh, they, they could get it from, uh, you know, dead bodies. I don't really give a well, Yeah, there's adult stem cells, there's embryonic stem cells, you know, dead babies yeah. and shit. So, so you're, you know, you're, 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 bought, not, you're, bought, you're a right to life or when it comes to your neck, huh? Yeah. Hey, you know, I bought Faye this stuff for eliminating wrinkles and bags, and it's uh, it's a stem cells from rose hips. From roses. Wait a from minute. Roses. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Hold on a second. To begin with, there's no such thing as stem cells from rose hips. Okay. I, I'm going to go get the, the thing. It was $800. And, uh, oh, really? She, well, then somebody yeah. sold you a bill of goods because stem cells are not... Uh, a organic okay, kind I, I'm, of I'm going to go product. get the box, and I'm going to show you go, the thing. Okay. Oh, oh, oh okay. Hope. Okay. Right. He's, those, those roses must have some nice brains in them or something. Yeah, right, right. It's about $799.99 more expensive than I'm willing to pay for any fucking thing to put on my face. Hey, anybody want to call us tonight? Hey, even the uh, chat room tonight <laughs> You is could put slow. a little shade on your face because, man, you are white. <laughs> Worst shades, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. You can eat the peanuts out of my shit. I have to turn my. Hey, that's the, hey, that's the best stress reliever, Alex. What? Not giving a fuck what other people think. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, I don't know how you get migraines. I can see how you give them to other people. <laughs> you know. Well, I've done that. Well, when, I, when you're younger, you learn things. So you have to learn to not give a fuck in order to not uh, give a uh, fuck okay. when you reach a certain age and older. Now, this is $800 worth of rose hips. Is that what this is? Okay. This is what it says on the package. What does it Can say? Can you see that? Uh, rose hip cell. Uh, rose stem rose. cells. Stem. There's no such thing as a rose stem cell. Okay. You can look it up. It's called Selected. Cosmetics, S E L E C T E D. Forget that. Forget that. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking cosmetics. Up rose, I'm just putting in rose stem cells. Stem cells. Cells. And and so anyway, oh, this is uh, this is just one of the uh, one of the items. Then there's something else that comes in a, a syringe. Okay. Uh, well, here here we go. These are some other products for rose stem cells. Uh, all right. Now. Uh, 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 there is uh, twenty six dollars. Uh, th well, this whole thing, all the serum and all of this stuff, was eight hundred bucks. I bought it in Carmel. Uh, Maybe I don't know what a stem cell is. Yeah, but uh, I, uh, selected cosmetics. S e l e c t e d. This has uh, got to be. This dash. has got to be a. a, a hold on a second. Uh, rose stem cell. Uh, yeah. Uh, scam. Let me see if we if, if this. <laughs> this was the eye lift serum, and uh, you got all sorts of other things that also have this uh, these uh, stem cells, rose stem cells. Yeah. And so, you know, hey, yeah. that's that's what she wanted. That was her birthday present. <laughs> you know. Really. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, here you go. All right, what do you see? I see, uh, I see stuff for seventy-five dollars. Well, maybe yeah. one of the items. I, you know, she got like a, a big bag full of shit, and there was uh, tons of items. Yeah, in but it. I, the term stem cells just doesn't seem to 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 
work right in this situation. I, I don't care what it says. It could, it could, <laughs> All right. It could say sperm cells. You know, I wouldn't care. Oh, the sperm cells are only $15. Yeah, you, you'll be glad. <laughs> well, you used to be able to give them to her for free. Yeah, really. Yeah. <laughs> they say those facials do wonders for your skin. Yeah, really. Yeah, but he's incapable now. Yeah, no more. No more. It's all over. It really? Actually, though, you can have an orgasm. I, I have had one, a mm -hmm. uh, couple I tried, and the um, and there is something that comes out. I don't know what it is. By the way, just stay that way. Right that way, Brian. Look, there's, uh, what's his name from Peanuts? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Linus. 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 I can't believe I remember that. Yeah, Linus. Yeah. Anyway, so no, nobody's writing on the. Only he's chat. all dirty and filthy and shit. Nobody's writing on the chat tonight. Even with rose stem cells, they're not writing, huh? No. Nope. Nope. You're not. Nobody there. Nope. 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 See, I always thought stem cells were from mammals only, but you said. Well, maybe, oh. maybe these are from the stems of roses. Stems of rose. That. There you go. Now. You okay. know, I mean, maybe. But the guy tried to tell me it's oh, stem cells. Oh, no, rose the cells stem, stem the cells. The stem of roses. Uh, you know, that is that's that is logical, you know, uh, but rose stem cells is stem. not... No, not, rose stem cells. Yeah. Okay, the ingredients. Uh, let's see if I can find the one. Cellulose gum, silica... Uh, leaf juice, Vera leaf juice, green tea. Yeah. Um, oh, the rose stem cells and rose ac extract are the last two ingredients. So that's uh, the least. After about 20 ingredients. That's the least in the thing. Right. Yeah, exactly. When it's the end of the description, rose it's the. Wrinkles. Yeah, this, this, this particular product. I'd say you got hoodwinked. Yeah, is an eye. She's happy. You know. <laughs> oh, so. Right. Actually, the stuff works. Uh, I, she put it on me, and uh, the the bags go away, just like Alex's stuff. Well, I want to thank Rin. I want to thank Rin, by the way, who wrote in and said uh, earlier. I was trying to remember the Stuart Smiley affirmation. Oh yeah, yeah. And it, she says, "I'm good enough, I'm smart enough, and gosh darn it, people like me." <laughs> so. Well, you're you know, two for three. Yeah, two. For three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So nobody else going to call tonight. That's fine. This is a great little crowd here. They, yeah. they may call later. They may call later, yeah. And then again, they may not. Yeah, you had nine last night, and if Jack would have stuck around, you would have had a full house. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, Lord giveth, the Lord taketh away, you know. Um, so what else is in the news? Well, I got a whole uh, bunch of items here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, first of all, um, the head of AT and T took a swipe at Netflix that he is now in competition with after AT and T's purchase of Time Warner. Are they mm -hmm. really in competition with him? I mean, is HBO a competitor to Netflix? No, because their well, method. Their, well, their method of delivery is different. HBO primarily is cable. They're looking for eyeballs. That's yeah. what they're in well, competition for. No, they're not for. looking for eyeballs. They're looking for subscriptions. Right. Well, subscriptions equal eyeballs. You can't look at it unless you yeah. pay for it. Here comes Kevin. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me put him on there. There we go. We add him to the panel. Okay. Let me just... Uh, I think I can probably leave myself almost the same size. Ah, there we go. I just shrink myself a little bit. Hi there, Kevin. Anyway, uh, CNBC quotes Randall Stephenson speaking at the Goldman Sachs Cornucopia Conference saying, I think Netflix kind of as a Walmart. Uh, HBO is kind of the Tiffany. Yeah. CNBC notes that AT&T, which now owns HBO, has been touting its new media assets and digital content portfolio since closing its acquisition of the Time Warner earlier this year. And the report adds AT&T executives have privately said HBO will need to get bigger and broader in order to build a subscription base. Yeah, become more like Netflix, you idiots. 
You know, we're, I don't want to have to watch uh, uh, the Deuce uh, week after week after week. I want to watch it all on a weekend if I want to. And I got to wait till you're through showing it before I can do that. Stevenson is quoted as saying Tuesday, we think we have a good portfolio of premium content as anybody in the industry. In the terms of long form, Warner Brothers has an intellectual property library that is like few others that we can conceive of candidly. So, uh, but, you know, yeah, they got G Game of Thrones, but that's going off. So, I don't know. Do you know they did, they did away with, uh, and this is uh, absolutely uh, uh, germane to this story, I guess. They did, they're doing away with all their sex programming on HBO. Hmm. They're doing away What's with more? They'll, they'll probably spin it off. They have it. You can no. get it online. No, they're, they're, they're doing away with the Cat House series. They're doing away with uh, all the all uh, taxi cab confessions, yeah. shit like that. Yeah. I can go online, and uh, if I want to look at porn, I go online like that. Well, no, but that's, the, that wasn't porn. They never had porn on there. It was adult programming. You know, well, softcore so, adult although, programming, got, whatever I, you want to I call it. it. I, when I was in my teens, I got off on it, and so it's one and the same to me. And if I want to get off on something at 36, I go online to Pornhub or, or PornMD, and there you go. Yeah, well, the last episode, though, of, uh, of uh, uh, what do you call it, The Deuce last year, and I think uh, the big top of the show this year, there was hardcore porn on the show. So hmm. I don't know what they're saying about getting out of the sex business, you know. Whatever. It's not porn. It's HBO. It's HBO. Yeah. Well, not according to my dick, it isn't. <laughs> it jerks uh, off the same. Semen's the same color. Same well, disgust. Well, no, no, wait a Semen isn't the same color. He's talking about it before it dries or after it dries. <laughs> well, let's not be splitting cunt hairs again with semantics. <laughs> it, 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 like I said, I just got off when on you it. Say it's and, the you know, same, if I want to get off on porn. When you say sperm is the same color, I'm pictures, sorry. I, I, don't, online, do I don't know about yours, but mine changes colors as it dries. It's like a mood ring. It's <laughs> I guess when you're pissed off, it's all red, but bubbles. <laughs> oh, boy. I hope you're when beautiful. you're chilly, <laughs> it shoots out icicles. <laughs> You're breaking yourself up, aren't you? Oh, I laugh at my own jokes. It's the sniff test. Uh -huh. it's how it, if I if I'm if I can't laugh at it, how the fuck do I expect anyone else it, to? Exactly, exactly. Okay, now wait a minute. Hold on a second, folks. Another story. All right. Uh, um, could you guys talk to each other for a second? I got to run off and take a pee. Sure. This is the only show where you can actually do that. You just ask the people here to, you know. Yeah, well, the other shows, you just play a record. Yeah, but here I just have the audience. I, normally, I don't have to go to the bathroom, but I... Just don't play I, adult I, entertainment. Well, don't wait too long. Uh, well, I could piss my pants if everybody would like to watch that, you know. Well, maybe you get a few more viewers. I'll be know. right back. <laughs> if people were only listening to the program, we could tell it's the, we could tell everyone it's a waterfall. Yeah. Hey, does anybody hear uh, about that? Uh, there's some sort of uh, magnetic thing going on uh, in, in the atmosphere, and I think it's going to interfere with radio waves and and, and so forth very shortly. Is it sunspots? Uh, no, it's 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 beyond sunspots. Some electromagnetic uh, phenomenon that's going on, uh, and I'm looking for it for uh, where I read it, and I can't. News to me, it. but considering that it's Mother Nature, I'm not surprised. Yeah. And uh, I, I don't know where the hell it is. Uh, I haven't heard about it. All right. Is it coming from outer space or is it internally? Yeah, I, I think so, yeah. Um, you almost had my hopes there up for, uh, for a nanosecond there, Phil. I thought you were going to announce the end of human civilization. Could be. Could be gamma rays. Yeah. Well, Smoke. the oh. end of civilization's coming. It's, uh, it's Trump derangement syndrome. Uh -oh. uh, <laughs> what all of a sudden I leave the room and you're talking about Trump? No, no, no. That was uh, the the last the last part of it. I try to uh, find a uh, thing that I read uh, about um, e electromagnetic uh, 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 things that were going on in the atmosphere and was going to inter interfere with radio signals uh, and uh, 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 let's say uh, 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 the uh, electronic. Uh, uh, grid, uh, you know. Well, the, sunspots do that. Yeah, well, well, but he said it wasn't sun. It wasn't sun flares. Sun flares. I don't think. I don't think it was sun flares. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can't find the article now. By and, the way, uh, did you hear? Did you hear? You remember a couple of years ago they had that mysterious thing that happened down in Cuba, where members the of, microwaves. The mi well, they, they they don't know exactly what it was, but electromagnetic every, waves. Everybody so, took they, everybody took ill. They said uh, it was the and, Russians. Well, now they say it was the Russians. They weren't saying it then. We stopped no. doing business with Cuba. You know, we stopped doing t talking with them, saying it was there. They did it. You know, it we turns pulled out, our guys out. Yeah, turns out they didn't do it at all. That it's the Russians who did it. Uh, okay. Trump's hmm. buddies. Trump's buddies. Yeah, the okay. Russians. Yeah. Well, well they nice. did it somewhere else too. Uh, another. Uh, yeah, another, Ch China. Uh, what did you say again? China, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think it happened in China. Oh, do you, Chinese. Do you remember that at all, Kevin? Yeah, I heard it was the Russians too. Yeah, but that was just a couple of days ago that we heard it was the Russians. So are we going to go yeah. back to Cuba and apologize? Yeah, send them a cigar too. Trump yeah. doesn't apologize to anyone. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, no. It's obvious. Uh, but I'll tell you, I got a really shitty connection. I wonder if they're interfering with me. Well, I know. You, gotta, <laughs> you, you look great. Yeah. You, uh, you guys are breaking up really bad. And I'm losing the picture and everything. Oh, oh well. wow. uh, is anybody playing video games in your house or watching something on TV? No, actually, they're both downstairs watching TV. So I got, I got everything here. So I don't know what the hell's going on. But, but you want to try just logging in again? Might you try? Yeah, I might in just again. try uh, rebooting everything. Yeah, yeah. Because you look great. I make and and you sound. I may great. go away and come back for a minute. All right. Yeah. You look just like Santa. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, sound like him too. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be business season for him soon. Yeah, I just talked to my buddies, setting up the dates. Oh, really? You know, in retail, uh, Christmas gets uh, earlier every year. Yep. You know, pr pretty soon they're gonna start uh, celebrating Christmas on J uh, January second. I just yeah. came across a notification here on my Facebook page by a Facebook friend of mine who said the date September eleventh. 156 p.m. Already seen some Christmas stuff at Walmart already. Oh, shit. Mm. Really? Yep. Hey, you know, at Walmart, can you imagine this? I don't know if this is happening at Walmart, but they say that people are fighting for food uh, because of uh, the Hurricane Florence. Oh. Yeah. And uh, so they're, uh, people are fighting to, you know, to, to get food. Uh, These are human food. beings we're talking about, or rather human animals, so it surprises me not a bit. And while we're on the subject of Florence, real quick, um, I've been on record uh, on Facebook as saying that I'm hopeful that Trump and his administration mishandles the aftermath of Florence and the Carolinas as much as he has mishandled Maria in Puerto Rico. If for no other reason than because oh, we're less wait, 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 now wait, wait. than two months away from the midterms. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, 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 I've got to tell you, you're, you're really wrong about that, Brian, because I heard the president say that everything that we did in Puerto Rico was successful, fantastic. was fantastic. It was an unsung success. What are you it talking about? Unsung. They, they, they killed 3,000 people. And what I'm saying is that if Mostly this dense. administration, or namely Trump, did any more projecting, He'd be a fucking movie screen. <laughs> hey, Brian, if if they killed, if 3,000 people died uh, because of the last hurricane in Puerto Rico, uh, then it was a success because most of those people were Democrats, and that's one way that you can change the vote. Uh, <laughs> they were going to die anyway. Phil, that didn't, that didn't work. That's true. That didn't work. Uh, all right. But well, he, used, he used the excuse that, well, you know, the power grid, uh, the electric company was in bad shape before the uh, yeah before that uh, and i yelled at my screen yeah but there were still three thousand more people alive than there are now yeah but none of them had electricity uh 24 7. And, and a really classy moment when he was throwing out paper towels to the crowd that was that was that was like the fist bump at shanksville you know that yeah. reminded me of when um uh, uh what's her name got kidnapped uh, patty hurst and uh, they pulled up this uh, this truck, and I believe it was Patty Hearst's father that was throwing out bags of food off the back of the truck. I don't truck. think it was her father, but it was some people. They were throwing food out of the back of the truck, though. Oh, and so it wasn't her father? Yeah, I thought that's who they wanted to do it, well, the SLA. Could have been. I can't, I can't remember the story completely. You know? Yeah. But, uh, and... Uh, 
I, I guess there was a mishap, and a lot of the food fell on the ground, and it was. Uh, so Trump was successful yeah. in comparison to that. Oh well, yeah, I see. Okay, well, I, uh, <laughs> nice to be able to compare him to something that he comes out better looking. Um, mm-hmm. um, another person's out at CBS. This yeah, time, I heard. It, this time it's Jeff Fager, and he was the uh, big boss over there at. Um, 60 minutes. 60 minutes. Yeah. And after getting the boot today from CBS, where he's been an executive producer of 60 Minutes, Jeff Fager continues to suffer indignities. And then the latest one, Quinnipiac University rescinded the Fred Friendly First Amendment Award it bestowed on Fager in June. Uh, so, so they said he got fired over a tweet he put out or something? Well, yeah. Supposedly the tweet was... Uh, it, it, it was... I, 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 he, he tends to say it was different than the, what they say, but basically he was saying, if you do that, you know, don't, don't, don't do that, you know, and he had to do it in no uncertain terms. Uh, I'm trying to remember, uh, do I have the story here of, of exactly what, Kevin. what he said? Yeah. Kevin's hanging up and coming back. Um, the, 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 yeah, I don't have the other sto- the other story about him, but he oh, here here we go, here we go. To a repo- reporter I, or something. I have it. Yeah, I have it here. Hold on a second. Wow, uh, must have been a nasty one. It, it was a memo that Fager uh, is leaving the company immediately. Uh, the roads uh, the Fager's longtime number two, Bill Owens, will manage it. Blah blah. CNN notes a uh, Fager. St- okay. Um, he was term- they terminated my contract early because I sent a text message to one of our own CBS reporters demanding that she be fair in covering the story. Fager's statement adds, my language was harsh, and despite the fact that journalists receive harsh demands for fairness all the time, CBS did not like it. One such note should not result in a termination after 36 years, but it did. Yeah. Now he, uh, he had that, also yeah. been accused of sexual improprieties, but they were discounted by a study or whatever that they did. So they got him on this thing. Did that have something to do with Disney? Also? No, this has nothing. Oh, uh, there was some other exec that uh, 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 just recently, uh, today or yesterday, uh, it was uh, with Disney, but. Go ahead. I don't want to change the subject. Uh, Farrell reported that 19 current and former employees alleged Fager followed harassment, uh, allowed harassment in the division. Uh, He cited six former employees that said Fager, while inebriated at company parties, would touch employees in ways that made them uncomfortable. I bet he did. Yeah. Uh, Show him where he touched you on the doll, okay? Uh, (laughs) But, but anyway, so th- there you got another guy who's in trouble over at CBS. Now, here it, it explains it, Washington's facial expression. He doesn't look too happy. Have you ever heard of uh, Linda Bloodworth Thomason? It nope. sounds familiar. Yeah. Uh, she was a, probably one of the most successful producers at CBS back in the day with Designing Women in 1986 That's and Evening cool. Shade in 1990. Um she writes about Moonves, like a lot of women in Hollywood, I'm happy to dance on the, his professional grave. Not just any dance. This will be a Macarena, the Roomba, the Cha-Cha-Cha, and the Moonwalk. <laughs> you get the idea. She didn't like uh, it, man. She says, I was never sexually harassed or attacked by Moonves. My encounters were much more subtle in engendering a different kind of destruction. In 1992... I was given the largest writing and producing contract in the history of CBS. It was for $50 million, including five new series, with hefty penalties for each pilot not picked up. By picked up, they mean the network didn't run, wouldn't run them. Bloodworth Thomason's big CBS deal had been made by then CBS chairman Howard Stringer and President Jeff Sagansky. In 1994, Evening Shade ended its run on the network, and in 1995, she produced a new pilot for Moonves, who had succeeded Sigansky. Writes Bloodworth Thomason, as soon as the pilot was completed, Moonves informed me that it would not be picked up. It was the pinnacle, I was at the pinnacle of my career, but I would not work again for seven years. 
During that period, because my contract was so valuable, I continued to win over Moonves, and he continued turning down every pilot I wrote. Soon, she writes, I began to hear from female CBS employees about his mercurial and misogynistic behavior with actresses being issued, issued, ushered, pfft, ushered in and yeah. out of his office. His mantra, I was told, was, why would I want to cast him if I don't want to fuck him? Ooh. And he was ang an angry bully who enjoyed telling people, I will tear off your top of your head and piss on your brain. That sounds like something Brian would say. Wow. <laughs> I like it. That, that, Brian, Brian that's a new job at CBS. Management 101. Later yeah. in her column, Bloodworth Thomas and writes... Off and shit down the hole. Writes, for years, <laughs> Moonves loaded up the network with highly profitable male-dominated series always careful to stir in and amplify reward as an uh, 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 amplify am or amply award excuse me let me try that you again. talk for oh, you and oh, trump oh, always to stir in an amply reward <laughs> an occasional actress like the famous uh, fabulous patty heaton or the irresistible kaylee coco coco oh, yeah. you know uh, is the is that the one that's on uh, friends no no a oh, big bang big, big bang, bang i mean kelly yeah. kelly but mostly he presided over the plethora of macho crime shows featuring virtual genocide of dead naked bodies on, in morgue drawers with sadistic female autopsy reports ratcheted up every week. Is that a missing breast implant, Lieutenant? Yes, sir. We also found playing, car found playing cards in her uterus. Uh, on the day I officially parted company with CBS the same day Mr. Moonves said he would pay only a t tiny fraction of the penalties my incredulous agent asked what he should tell me. Mr. Moonves replied, tell her to go fuck herself. Yeah. A nice guy, huh? Yeah, there's always two sides to every story. He is a well, terrible person. Well, I mean, there are two sides to every story, but, you know, if, if what she says is true, she got kind of screwed. All right? And that happened. Maybe you're but, but we you're also, I'm told... Les Moonves, I'm also told, had a vendetta against uh, Janet Jackson following the wardrobe malfunction of 2004. Uh, what's his name? Justin Timberlake tearfully uh, asked for uh, Moonves' forgiveness and was, after groveling for a prolonged period of time, was subsequently granted that forgiveness. Janet wasn't as, had more of a, a stiffer backbone and uh, subsequently, um, you know, they, 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 they never got along. They never, they never got along. Okay, um, uh, but y you know that 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 uh, yeah. There, can you hear us now, uh, Kevin? Yeah, so far so good. Okay, so far so good. Uh, uh, right, the tap your microphone, Kevin. Yeah. Okay, that it's working. Yeah. All right, just it didn't sound uh, yeah. as normal. Anyway, the, yeah. the yeah. point the point I'm making is is that uh, 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 what happens is. A lot of times at these networks, like in this particular case, when the old regime is out and the new regime comes in, they want to undo. It's kind of like Trump want to undo everything that the old regimes have done. So any shows that they, you know, like when they had a fifty million dollar contract with Bloodworth Thomason, uh, and all of a sudden here comes Moonves, uh, he doesn't like that idea. You know? What what do they what do they say about Moonves that he made CBS a lot of money? Yeah, so maybe he was right, and well, Bloodworth no, Thomas yeah, but he, uh, wasn't. He, he could be. He could. It could have been right picking up her shows too. You know, all I'm saying is, is that yeah, he worked. Did for, he pick up two out of five? It worked for him. No, he picked up two. No, he had, after she did those two series, she had a fifty million dollar contract to come up with five more pilots. Oh. All of which had to go to series, otherwise they owed a penalty for that. I see. Okay, all right. So, uh, but but what happens is is in, it, like um, uh, what's her name? Um, uh, uh, Ozzy Osbourne's wife, Sharon Osbourne, on yeah. the on the talk, which is the poor man's view, um, was that's the show that Moonves's wife Julie Chen was right. the host of. And she wasn't there the other day, and, and Osborne said that she's not here because she's attending to family business. Uh, there's been a big shakeup here at CBS, 
and who knows how long this show will still remain on the air because anytime new people come in, they have a different idea. Didn't her and, and so husband, they're worried about it there because anytime there is a change in in the guard at the network, the new guy comes in, looks around, and goes, "Oh well, this is all the stuff Moonves do it did. Let's all throw this out." You know, right. just like this is all the stuff Obama did. Let's throw that all out. You know, Sharon Osbourne's husband bit off the head of a rat. Bat, bat. <laughs> oh, bat. Okay, and she kisses him. So maybe she shouldn't be on. They're no show. longer married. No, no. I, I, I thought they're, I still, they're, they're divorced. Still, no, I heard they're no, still they're, married. They're together. They're still married. Oh, they are. Yeah. 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 But I, still, who cares? You know, uh, uh, but uh, uh, she's looking good. She's had some. I'll tell you, she's had some very good facelifts. Yeah, I watched. And she's it, lost it, weight. Yeah, no, but she she's had some good facelifts uh, yeah. because God knows, I mean, she's like almost seventy, I think. Uh, but mm -hmm. she looks. It looks natural. You know. Yeah. She just looks very well rested. She she wasn't uh, into drugs or rock and roll. I don't think uh, her uh, whole career. While uh, Ozzy was, uh, well, her and, father was an agent, and so I think she became one, and uh, and managed Ozzy. That's how their relationship started, you know. So yeah, he willingly took the life of an animal. I have, I don't have a lot of, uh, uh, I don't hold, um, uh, what's his name in high regard, her, uh, Ozzy Osbourne. Ozzy Osbourne in very high regard, and besides, I hear from a lot of. Uh, metal and hard rock aficionados that uh, his competitor the late great ronnie james deal was superior in talent than over over ozzy i don't even know who you're talking about neither do i, I <laughs> but like i said I, I know people who followed that type of music for years for decades yeah and he in uh, their the artist named ronnie ronnie james dio who was uh they they kind of competed with each other in the prime of their lives and that the deal was uh, well, more you, I'll, I'll, talented yeah. than... Well, I'll tell you. So I'll, you followed that kind of music? Did you ever hear of a group called Crown of Thorns? No, no, and no, I don't follow that. I'm t like, uh, I say, I'll say this again for the third time. I've spoken to people, acquaintances, friends of mine, people I've met online and off, who do listen to this kind of music and have, and have followed through on it for years and decades and have told me that Ronnie James Dio is... Uh, a better talent, even then, in the prime of their lives, than um, Ozzy Osbourne. Uh, okay. So, uh, the other good thing that's going to happen with this hurricane, and I know that you know you're going to enjoy this because it's South Carolina, which is a red state. Uh, they're saying that snakes will be in uh, poisonous snakes will be in the flooded water after the hurricane. And yeah, you know, I personally am very afraid of snakes. I, I you know, I, probably in the water right now anyway. Yeah, and but plus, when they have the remember, water, remember, my Phil, definitely remember Phil, the people who get bitten by these snakes would have died anyway. Yeah. That's true. But they, if they yeah. don't evacuate, now they're, they're saying, hey, you know, you don't evacuate, there's going to be poisonous, venomous snakes in the water. Well, the, the, the hurricane does not have snakes in it, but the, no, the, the flood waters. Well, we'll wake up the snakes, and the snakes will get in the houses, probably. I've heard that uh. the hurricane may not have snakes in it, Scott, but I've also heard that the hurricane may have picked up and is carrying around sharks. It's shark oh, there's, Sharknado. There's, there's, Sharknado. You know, one, of the, one of the best series. In They'll be the, very, you know. very wet, wet, wet. Snakes. You know, I watched the last one. The last it Sharknado. Was, which one was that? The, the, I, they all look alike. No, the last one. They just did it about a week ago. Sharp oh, I didn't see that one yet. I watched it. It made no sense at all. I didn't see it. None of them do. It's called It's called The Last Sharknado. It's about time. <laughs> I only saw the one time where, and they go through time. And there's yeah, Sharknadoes in all the time. And they got to stop the last shark, Sharknado. And none of it made sense. Yeah, of course but not. Somebody made money. And cameos with people I couldn't recognize. And other people who wrote the shit were probably high on something when they did it, when they wrote it. Yeah. Now, is it the same guy that was in the other Sharknado? Uh, the the one who was uh, on one of those... Uh, the Sharknado uh, guy. Yeah. Yeah. The no, but the, uh, the, Tim, somebody, he uh, wasn't he in the Animal House? They drag everybody into that movie. No, yeah. no, no, no they just they, they just do cameos. There were less cameos in this one. But I watched it. I, I don't know why I... 
I downloaded it and then I I, I just had nothing to do because it's summer and there's nothing to watch. And uh, I, I put the thing on and I went, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> you know, it, 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 it's so bad. They, they're they bad at making it bad. Yeah. You That's know? the point. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's anyway. Uh, Florence you... is category two now. Re- really? Oh. Yeah. Uh, so it's only wet, wet, not wet, 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 wet. Well, it could be just very wet. I, I mean, yeah. the president called it wet, 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 wet. No, I, she I, said I'm it was going to sure be wet, very wet, 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 or wet, 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 very wet. You're saying yeah. Florence is a category two now? Yeah, yeah. It's big. It's going to be big. Did <laughs> <laughs> it, it hit the land or is it still over water? No, it's when getting I saw ready the to new... hit the land, but it's going to be the biggest storm ever, yeah. ever, ever, biggest. I thought it was going to be. I thought it was Category Four. What is it? Good, get downgraded or what? Yeah, it's getting downgraded. What, what is this? Yeah. What, what is but this? There's still going to be snakes. Are we playing Jeopardy here? Category Four. Uh, <laughs> poisonous snakes in the water. Yeah. <laughs> so, so no every, everybody here about just wet, wet, wet. Wendy, wet, Wendy, wet. Did you? Everybody hear about Norm, Norm McDonald? Yeah. No. Uh, uh, did he get fired too? Oh, no, no, he's not on uh, that show. They took him off the show. What, what show was the night show? Well, um, what attempt at relevancy? Well, that's the story Norm I was going to get to. Now. Well, what Norm McDonald did was he defended Louis C.K. and um, uh, and and Roseanne Barr. Uh, uh, Roseanne Barr is a little hard. Uh, he and he indicted. The Me Too movement by saying, well, the Me Too movement is losing steam, so it's time we put Roseanne Barr back on the air and and Louis C.K. That Uh, was the one that Disney said uh, that that they didn't let him go on that nighttime show. I forget which one it is. You're getting it all wrong, Phil. To begin with, it has nothing to do with Disney. Yeah, uh, I'll I'll see if I can Uh, find it. I have it right here. You don't have to go look it up. I've got it right right here. All right. It was on NBC, Phil, not owned by Disney. Yeah, uh, but uh, it was the Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon decided right. to cancel his uh, his uh, uh, appearance, appearance on the show because of what he had said. Um, Tonight Show saying that the show decided to cancel McDonald's appearance, which had been scheduled for Tuesday night, out of sensitivity to our audience. McDonald's been making the rounds of the media ahead of his September 14th debut of his new talk show, Norm McDonald Has a Show. It might finally be titled Norm McDonald Doesn't Have a Show. Um, <laughs> Norm McDonald's Farm? Uh, uh, he, was, he said he was happy the Me Too movement has slowed down a bit. McDonald sparked further criticism when he defended comedian Louis C.K., which I've done constantly who has admitted sexual misconduct, and actress Roseanne Barr, who ABC fired after Roseanne's revival for sending a racist tweet. Uh, McDonald's quoted as saying in reference to CK and Barr, there are very few people that have gone through what they have, losing everything in a day. Of course, people will go, but what about the victims? Uh, uh, The victims didn't have to go through that. And then he writes uh, a tweet that said, uh, Rose, this is the tweet that got him in trouble. Roseanne and Louie have both been very good friends of mine for many years. They both made terrible mistakes. Oh, this is the, the mea culpa he wrote today. Uh, they both made terrible mistakes, and I would never defend their actions. If my words sounded like I was minimizing the pain that their victims feel to this day, I am deeply sorry. Well, I guess, I guess that makes it okay, right, uh, Norm? I never liked Norm Macdonald, to tell you the truth. I never thought he was that funny. And then Kathy... It or miss for me on the weekend update when he filled in for that, but... Yeah. I don't give two shits either. Yeah, yeah, he... Um, yeah, he's on uh, He's on that uh, that show with uh, Seth MacFarlane, uh, the space show. Um, the What's it called? The, it's the name of the ship. Some kind of space yeah. uh, spook... Uh, spoof sci-fi Star yeah. Trek. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. The Orville. Like, the I Orville. forgot to say my character trade trademark phrase, which is I don't give one fingered fuck. Yeah. Yet alone two. Okay. Uh, so uh, uh, no, the Orville is the name of the show. 
horrible. Okay, yeah. I just remembered. That's... But he plays the blob on that show, so I, d- I don't think Seth MacFarlane will fire him. Seth is pretty good about this sort of thing. But comedian Kathy Griffin, speaking of another unfunny human being, uh, has words for both former CBS boss Les Moonves and his wife, uh, CBS fixture Julie Chen, the host of Big Brother and co-host of The Talk. By the way, she got both those jobs by fucking the boss. Might I add that? Uh, anyway, uh, Griffin took to Twitter over the weekend to unleash Shocking. a barrage of posts about Chen and Moonves. Among the highlights, she said she tried to get the job replacing Craig Ferguson as host of CBS's Late Late Show, a job that wound up going to James Corden, who is a very talented human being. Griffin said she was told by her agents that Moonves would not consider a woman for the job. Now, that's her agents telling her that. Maybe they just didn't want to approach him because they knew that she wasn't in the running for it. She's not that good, you know. Um, in early 2014, I asked then agents, diff, different agency for the one where I am now, if I could be ha- having having a meeting with CBS about replacing Craig Ferguson. To be clear, this isn't a ding at James Corden. I like him. Griffin tweeted Sunday, my agents told me that Leslie wasn't even going to consider any women for the spot. Yes, they met with a few women, but they actually were going to hire a woman uh, it, they weren't going to hire a woman, I was told. Welcome to reality. Well, that's what her agents told her. It could be that, you know, that they were just, they just didn't even want to approach him on it. That's what I'm thinking. But she's sitting around going a, a pox on both their houses. Uh, so, um, that's all the news I've got from here, folks. Now, here's Phil with the weather. <laughs> Well, it's, yeah, it's very wet, and there's going to be snakes in the water. Venomous snakes. But, well, they're always venomous. You know. Well, better they be swimming in the water than voting in the polls. Well, no, those are the feminist snakes. Venomous. Do you think it can stay that terrible till the elections are over with? Uh, you know. Uh, yeah, we can hope, can't we? So far, they say the Senate's going to remain the way it is, but Congress is going to be. Democratic. Uh, really? Uh, I would figure that Congress would be, by a razor margin, Republican, but the Senate would flip. Some are saying that the Congress may be Republican by a razor's margin, but that the Senate is safe Yeah, for the yeah. Republicans. But we don't know. You know, there are all kinds of little surprises that can happen. Uh, but Nobody thought that uh, nobody in the establishment left. Your Chucky Schumer and your Chucky the Schum, as Jimmy Dore likes to call him, and uh, Nancy Pelosi thought that that Alcario Cortez lady was going to uh, beat out that established uh, Democrat in New York. He did, did she, didn't he? She, she, she did. She did, yeah. She did. That, they, yeah. they didn't think that would happen. Nobody in the establishment circles thought that would happen. Yeah, well, if it wasn't that particular district in New York, she would have been uh, carted back to the bar that she used to work in. You know. You know something? You, you're mm. you're you're getting really stupid with something like that. Have you heard her? Very yeah, bright. She's, uh, she's very a moron. Articulate. No, she's not a moron. She's very bright, Phil. Yeah. Very. Well, the bright. things that she likes to talk about. Uh, well, you know, just socialism, because you don't know eliminating ice. Well, that doesn't make you an moron. She happens to be very smart. Well, I disagree with what she uh, stands for. Well, then you don't, and and you don't, you don't call her a moron. No, and therefore she's but a see, moron. See, hey, you guys belittle me and call me a moron. Well, but that's when you don't when there's a difference, me. Phil. You are a moron. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's also another difference. It's that we've tried the trickle down approach for over forty fucking years with establishment Democrats blessing as well, a la Clinton's, and we've realized that trickle down economics doesn't work either. So okay. that's a moronical way of thinking. Well, what well. what oh what this woman wants is the same thing that you have in Cuba and you have in Venezuela, or but, that you have what, in Scandinavian but, countries. Yeah, like no, Norway, and Scandinavia is turning to the right. Those. No, the Sweden is turning to the right, by the way. Very, but yeah, like yeah, to the right is still very much to the left in those countries. Okay, but what's happening? Well, and I, I mentioned Venezuela, and you guys, are, you guys are like crickets in the room, you know. Because Venezuela isn't a socialistic country. 
It's a, yeah. di- it's a dictatorship. It's a dictatorship, it's, Phil. Well, what do you think most socialistic countries tomorrow. are? Oh, right really? Uh, I, 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 quite frankly, I didn't know that uh, Sweden you, was... Have you ever seen Sweden, a communist country Sweden, that wasn't Sweden, Norway, a Denmark are not... Uh, um, uh, they got a king. ...are, are, are not uh, 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 dictatorships. All right. Look at Venezuela. Now, people are, inflation Why are is 1 million percent. It's a sh- it's a, it, you 1 know, it, million percent. It's what Trump would refer to people as a shithole are country. Running, uh, one, people uh, are running over the border to Colombia. With, Why with are you bringing, shoes. What are you bringing up Venezuela for? Who, who here? Because this who, is what who, she stands who, for. Who no, she, you're, you're going, no, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. You're saying she stands for socialism, and then you're equating it with Venezuela. Now, Absolutely. come on, that's that's bullshit. You know, when you talk about somebody being an idiot, that a moron, <laughs> you're being one right now. You know, she, uh, she she wants to eliminate ICE. She wants open borders. Yeah. The only thing I agree control. with her we on... The border control before I, I, agree, I do agree with her on one thing. I want to eliminate plastic straws. But other than that, I, I don't agree with a thing that she said. Well, I don't. I, I don't know that she ever said she wanted to eliminate plastic straws. Hey, they all want to eliminate plastic straws. It's killing the sea life. But uh, you know the the That's thing. The straws. thing is, you know, hey, all the waterfowl and stuff. If you've ever seen what happens to them after their belly is full of plastic bits and pieces from straws and 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 plastic. So you're all for doing away with plastic straws. I'm all for doing so that. So when we get tax cuts to the corporations to do it the, whatever the fuck but they please. Anyway, when you get back to this woman, you know, there are two yeah, things. There's one thing both you and I, the the, there, one, one, one thing that both you and I probably paper agree paper, on. Paper straw. What? <laughs> that you, you and I, Phil, probably agree on. Schumer's a dick. Okay? Yes, he, right. he's demonstrated that. Yeah, I don't like Schumer Chucky at the all. Shoe. Chucky the hey. Shoe. <laughs> Yeah, that, Bernie Sanders' son. Yeah, Charles Chuck Schumer. Yeah, Bernie Chucky Sanders. Bernie That's Sanders. Jimmy Zork refers to him as. I like Bernie the San- turtle. Wait, what were you, right. you going to say? That's Mitch McConnell. Bernie what? Sanders' son lost his bid for a New Hampshire. No, a Vermont uh, uh, congressional seat, I believe. Who? Schumer. Son? Bernie Sanders' son, oh, Bernie Levi. Son. Oh, okay. Well, Bernie wouldn't endorse him out of principle. Yeah. He, uh, that's interesting. You know. Uh, he's, not giving, he, he's not giving next of kin handouts the way other politicians do. Now he keeps it all for himself. Yeah. He's yeah. so rich. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's, so rich, he's, a, man. he's a socialist, so he must like Venezuela. Yeah, yeah I'm sure he does. You know, but, uh, you know, God, look, Phil, this is, you are this so is the idiotic. social experiment that all you libs have been throwing up in the face of, uh, of everyone. Go to if you don't like the government. Hey, that's, that's another one, you know. How, how do you tell a uh, male at a Somalian wedding? Alex should know this one. It's on in one of his albums. He's, he's the one laying next to his Somalian wife. What, you know. what, what, on what album? Uh, it's on Radio Dinner. I never, uh, I, I never heard the rest of that. But it album. wasn't. So, uh, oh, okay. Yeah. I, I think they were talking about Biafra then, but you know, same thing. Yeah, because I did a lot of stuff for that album, which then Chris Surf edited out. So. You know, yeah, fucking but, asshole. Uh, anyway, that was I, a great album, though. Huh? It's a great album. I thought it was mediocre. Yeah, it was, it was okay. You know. Well, uh, you know, for the time, uh, and for the uh, audience that it appealed to, uh, it had a lot of it had a lot of strength. Really? Okay. Uh, let me see here. So, um, uh, what else is going on that we? need to talk about i guess nothing much more uh, so you you're in agreement that the fist pump was nothing more than a yawn no i didn't say that i think that that it was a it was a, a huge misstep on the president's part in just one of many huge missteps oh yeah that he made. it was a solemn occasion and uh you know he shouldn't have yawned he shouldn't have yawned he shouldn't have done the <laughs> fist pump. hey yay we're here oh the airplane landed yay you know, no. what a fucking moron. God, how can you keep defending that piece of shit? <laughs> I mean, how do you do it, Phil? How do you do you ever go to bed at night and go, you know, I really should admit that I think he's a piece of shit, too. He, he says a lot of stupid stuff, and I really wish that he wouldn't. 
But on the other hand, he's getting all the stuff done that I want to get done. Yeah. All the stuff that he promised, he's doing. He's dismantling America. And that's what he set out to do. He set out to shake up the status quo. Uh, we've had a Congress that has uh, had a 13% approval rating for many, many years. Uh, and that means that the 13% of the people that work in Congress, you know, of the nation that works in Congress, are the only ones that approve well, of he's themselves. Ne he's never going to admit it. But once these tariffs really get into play... You watch how fast this economy starts falling apart. Well, they, they affected me today. I just got a letter uh, that I was told by one of my mo my largest supplier that all the Chinese stuff and that um, uh, I forgot what percentage they said of Chinese stuff uh, uh, that they sell, but uh, and it's a lot of what I sell, uh, the uh, prices are going to go up 25%. And they're going to go up immediately, even though the tariffs aren't going to take uh, uh, they're not going to go into action for a little bit longer. Uh, and but they, the carpet, I got to do it quick, huh? No, it's not the carpet. It's these uh, hard surface things, these click together uh, vinyl floors. And oh crap! Because I got to buy one too. Uh, yeah. 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 So, uh, is the just, carpet made in, uh, in in Alabama or Georgia? Uh, Dalton, Georgia, is where most of it comes from. Oh, okay, okay. I'm good. What carpeting? Yeah. yeah. Okay, but, you're, but you're, 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 talking about, you're talking about you're talking you're talking about the floor paneling stuff. Yeah, yeah. these uh, these uh, click together uh, laminates and yeah, uh, yeah, waterproof that's floors. That's yeah, the ones with the poison oh. in them. Yeah, buy buy yeah. no, it's not the lumber liquidator ones, but uh, so Shaw Industries is is saying that they're raising their prices immediately. Uh, Ooh. So uh, and they're. They're owned by Berkshire Hathaway, which is uh, oh, uh, let's see, mine's uh, a communist anyway. Yeah, I gotta look at what mine is. Yeah, take a look. Tell me what it is. I'll tell you what the story is. Now they do uh, manufacture a lot of it in the United States, but it's just the Chinese stuff that's. Oh, uh, I'm sure this stuff comes from over the. And uh, uh, now, since it's owned by Berkshire Hathaway, and that's uh, uh, what's his step. name? I Quick saw that. Step. Quick yeah. step is Mohawk. What is that? Uh, Wait a minute. What is that picture you're holding up there? Because it, it, you really little... can't see it that well. I'll try no, to no, don't adjust turn, don't turn the light off. Keep the light yeah. on. You just move it closer so, into the camera. Oh, it, it looks like Trump and Melania. Yeah. And something Trump about it. There we go. And Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to Chuck E. Cheese. He's for his birthday. He's all excited. They shrunk him down yeah, that's in awesome. the picture. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Quick Step is laminate, and that is Mohawk, and I believe that that's made in Virginia. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. So Belgium. Well, in case Belgium, people are listening well, to the that's radio. Where they, that's where the company is, yeah. but uh, they moved their manufacturing facilities yeah. to Virginia. In case uh, you're listening to us on the audio. I think audio, Scott would like uh, that. Oh, the audio-only version. I, I'd seen it earlier. What, what, uh, what he was holding up, what uh, Brian was holding up, was a picture of uh, obviously photoshopped of uh, Trump like fist Facebook. pumping up in the air that thing uh, but shrunk down so he's shorter than Melania and the person that she's with and they're going he's as into, tall as a 10 year old child because he's go, a man child yeah they're going into a <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese uh, well see now what they gotta do is photoshop Baron's Nikes onto his shoes oh I see okay good yeah because Baron had I, Nikes on yesterday I guess you know, I, I, I joined the gym, and so I, I think I might have mentioned this, but I, I went to get... Uh, I, hey, I, hey, 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 forget it. Forget it with the I joined the gym. It's a little yeah. late now. You've done all the damage to your heart you're well, going to do. Well, now I'm, I'm trying to do uh, stuff to yeah. make the heart Believe me, stronger. you're going to get like I'm getting. Uh, I, I've got to go do the bike tomorrow, and I dread it. It's just 20 minutes, but I hate doing it. I just yeah. hate doing it. Well, Friday, I got a personal trainer, and uh, so that'll be my first workout with him. I had the interview. Yeah, that's where the best he, way to get a personal yeah. trainer. Yeah. How much well, does he it's charge? Expensive. Uh, well, uh, they had a deal. When you join the gym, uh, you got three sessions for 99 bucks. So uh, that, that you how know, much I think is the one gym, session is normally How much is the gym that. costing you? Uh, it, it was a deal. Uh, it was just a couple of blocks from my store. Uh, yeah, and how much so is it costing you? I, I didn't. 50, if it, it's the best deal I've ever had in a gym. Fifty nine dollars a month. Oh really? Yeah, how much I'm paying? 
10. 15. 15. Right. And do you but know how much you can get uh, if, you, if, you, if you find, is there a Planet Fitness? Oh, you is get there, happy ending? Is there, a yeah. pla- is, there a planet, oh. is there a Planet Fitness near you? Oh. No. Because uh, yeah, they probably yeah, good. Because they're $10. Yeah. This got a swimming pool. You want fluffy uh, pillow? Yeah. 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 You want me to check you off? Massage. There is a mas- you can get a massage. What the hell kind place. of hotel is this? And, and when you join, they give you a certificate for one free massage. They got uh, Pilates reformer machines, which I like to use. And, I'd love uh, your pillow, Mr. Meyer. <laughs> I bet you would. <laughs> is that I, what you tell all the kids when you say, sit on my knee? All, all, I, need is the, no. all I need is the exercise Hey-o. bike. And I, in fact, I haven't been doing the implements of torture because my uh, physical therapist said, maybe you might fuck yourself up your the whole spine thing with uh, those machines. So hey, I've just I, been going in, pedaling for 20, 25 minutes, and then I leave. You I'm know. only doing five minutes on the elliptical, and then uh, I go and I do a couple five of Five minutes one body. on the elliptical, that basically that doesn't even get your heart racing. It, it got me to 104, and that was enough uh, for five minutes. And then I go down to, uh, to the bench where I lay down on the bench, and I only use five pounds each, one in each hand, and I'm and I'm doing this uh, one thing when you're laying down, but these weights aren't heavy enough to help me get up, and my core is not strong enough, and it's it's like I, I got to roll off the bench to get up, <laughs> and it's not easy. I hate that. Yeah, I, yeah, I hate, I hate that when that happens. I hate that when that happens. <laughs> yeah. Well, I got some funny stares from all of these. Uh, Boy, the end of the, the world is coming soon because I'm working out and Phil's working out. Can you imagine that? Do you yeah. work out, Scott? No. 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 Okay. And he's in better shape than all of us. Do you work out <laughs> at all, Kevin? Do you work out at all, no, Kevin? No, I can't do I, I can't do much because of my legs, but I like to watch. Yeah. <laughs> I stand outside the window and watch. I, I used to belong to a very expensive Look, gym, and sweaty. I went there... And I went there like five days a week. Especially if it's women that are working out, right, Kevin? Uh, exactly. And, and I had, this is my workout. It was called a tribathlon. Uh, I'd shower, uh, take a sauna, and a jacuzzi. Mm. So the, the tribathlon. tribathlon, yeah. Uh, the thing is that go. maybe if I went to a more expensive gym, there would be better looking women. Yeah. Because uh, the women at my place, I think I only saw about two in the whole time I've been going there that I went I think I better hide the erection. Than <laughs> get wet. It's very wet there. It's too. very wet there. Yeah, I bet it's wet. <laughs> yeah, they were very wet. You know. That's the wrong kind of wet. Yeah, the there's snakes. <laughs> there's one. Big big it's wet. It's huge. It's so very slippery. Wet. My tiny hands make it look huge. And, and, and there, you know, I, I I didn't go for the longest time because of fear of intimidation. Because some of these guys are just, you know, they're ripped, right? Yeah, you know, where's I'm, the towel? The seat is slippery. So I just you get I, ripped. I, I you just, smoke a couple of those doobies, and I, I suddenly <laughs> realized that I, I really, you know, I'm that I suddenly realized that I shouldn't be intimidated because I'm going in there for a particular purpose to take care of myself, and that uh, that should be honored and considered uh, all fine and terrific. Hey, listen, I think I better roll the theme here. You made it, huh? You made it. What do you mean I made it? Of course I made it. It'll be a wet, wet night. Yeah. Thanks to uh, t- thanks to uh, girlfriend for being on from Snakes China uh, tonight. Uh, we had a nice shot out our window of China, uh, Hong Kong at dark. Yeah, Nothing. I saw that. It was just like a couple of lights here. You would think a city like that would be lit up more. Yeah, it's kind of like Puerto Rico. They, you know, they turn yeah. the electric oh, off. Oh yeah, and yeah. Hong used... Kong is like you should live in such a nice city. Anyway, thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Phil, for being with us tonight. Thanks to Brian. Thanks to Scott. We always love having Scott here. And, of course, the lovely and attractive Santa Claus himself, ladies and gentlemen, Kevin. Uh, Why don't you uh, give yourself all a a big wave goodbye to our audience so that they can uh, see you. There you go. (laughs) A fist bump. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. I appreciate it. Ah, that's uh, That's our panel for tonight. Boy, they were, I liked them. Nice people, you know. They don't need to be large ones. Although we had a large one last night, but uh, uh, 
You need a, you know, it, 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 a small one that where everybody's joining in and talking and having a good time is always great. Anyway, uh, Jack is next. Jack Bishop with uh, the intersection. That's followed at uh, one o'clock Eastern Daylight Time by Connections. And then tomorrow night at 9.30, yes, it's uh, the musical sounds of Damien Chaplin and the exchange. And then come 10 o'clock, I will be back here again. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye, everybody.